Hello everyone, I am back with another fabulous dumpster dive haul to share with you today. It actually looks super huge. Um, it's kind of squished on part of my table, this part, just a tiny bit, um, is not the haul, but it is quite a big haul. Most of it came from two pharmacies, a few things came from the dollar store and the grocery store, um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So I have a ton of candy once again after th or, uh, Thanksgiving. After Halloween, they throw out all the candy. <laughs> Most of these are dated November 2019, which is this month. So I have a whole mountain of Hershey's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably about 15 Hershey's bars. I have one Twix Dark, and it looks like eight or nine regular packs of Twix. A whole mountain of regular M&M's and a little bit less caramel M&M's. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a screw on the ground, so I'm going to throw that away. Okay, so I have the caramel M&M's and the regular M&M's. I have a whole bunch of Reese's as well. And some of these, let me see if I can find one. Okay, so some of these are dated December, which has not happened yet. And some of them are actually dated May 2020. There's like three of them, I think. Nope, that's not it. Still looking. Okay, there's one. 5 2020. So, those definitely are not past their date yet. I have five Snickers. Actually, there were six. I ate one of them. <laughs> I love, love, love Snickers. I have three Midnight Dark Milky Way as well. So, that's it for the candy right here. And then also in that bag, I had five um, Nutella and Go with the breadsticks. Just cute little packs. I do like these. Just a good snack to have, I suppose. Um, also, these parsley flakes. I don't think I've ever found parsley flakes before. The seal is still intact, so these are good to go. I'll be keeping those in my spice cupboard. I have a thing of small heavenly light popcorn. Uh, we're just going to go by what was in the one bag. Two or One of these gold emblem mini pretzel twists bags. This is extremely full. And there were two of these white cheddar flavored popcorn bags, but I ate some of the other ones, so that is not here. Um, honestly, I think that's it for that store. Yep, let's go to the other pharmacy now. So in that bag, I had this box of Cocoa Puffs. It's a little ripped up at the top, but the bag is fine. Ooh. Yep, okay, there's that. Uh, there was some apple juice that had spilled in the bag. I actually have the bag right there, and there is the culprit, the apple juice. So some of the stuff on the outside is wet, but it's fine on the inside. I have some Hawaiian Punch sugar-free water bottle singles, which I'm actually kind of happy to get. Uh, sometimes I'll put these in my water, you know, if I'm feeling the need for some sweets or something. So that's good. Brand new double-sided permanent tape. This also got hit with the apple juice. It is a whole case of 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. It's the emergency um, daily immune support. I also think you just put this in your water. So now, to, now that it's winter, these would be helpful, I think. Whole little case of them right there. Underneath that, I have two fudge brownie mixes from Betty Crocker. Again, the boxes are a little bit banged up, but they're in bags on the inside. And those will be absolutely delicious. <laughs> I have two feminine products. One is Ultra Thin Pads. It just has a tiny little rip right here. And the other is You by Kotex Pads or Panty Liners. No, these are regular, I think, regular pads. Um, this one's a little bit beaten up, but they're all wrapped up on the inside, so those will be just fine. Also from that store, I have some Hostess limited edition iced pumpkin cupcakes. Um, they are pumpkin flavor, I think, and then they have the little orange swirl and probably a cream cheese frosting. Sounds pretty good. And then I have two of the little cases of these Hostess donuts. Doesn't say the flavor. Caramel crunch. These to me look really good. Let's see the date. November 6th. So today is the 7th, Thursday the 7th, for me at least. This might go up on Friday. 
um, and these were dated for yesterday, so they will be just fine. And like I said, I have two little cases of them right there. Same store, I got this giant thing of Purina Beggin strips. Um, these are opened, a little bit at least. I'm not sure if it's actually pulled apart, but it was ripped open, so I can't donate these, unfortunately. However, my parents do like to keep dog treats in their car for if they go somewhere and they know one of like they know somebody that has a dog they like to give them treats so we might be keeping those and giving them to dogs that we encounter i also have this quick blow dry brush by conair i don't really style or blow dry my hair ever maybe like once a year um, so i won't really need this but i can definitely donate that and somebody will like that uh, the last thing from that pharmacy location is this bag. First, let's read this little sign. It says, hold for donation. And I'm assuming that somebody who works their initials it says hold for donations. But then if you flip it over, it says already scanned out dumpster. So either somebody was going, to, like had intentions of donating it, but then got overridden, or they're trying to like fool people, pretend they're donating, but really they're throwing their good stuff in the dumpster. These are all, it's stuck on, the, stuck on the bag. These are all brand new socks. Please tell me why that these had to be thrown away. Nothing wrong with those. And these are, I mean, these are awesome. I'll probably keep a few of them, but don't eat the rest. I know that socks and undergarments are the most needed things at shelters, especially around this time. When it's getting cold outside, our feet get cold super easily. Look, some of them are colored. They're all Carnival um, brand, so maybe they aren't carrying that brand anymore. So if you have the big three-letter pharmacy near you, definitely go check them out because uh, I'm assuming that they're all going to be throwing these out maybe. So let's count. There's two pairs in each of them, so two, four, six, eight, ten. That's ten pairs right there. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. These are nice socks. So this is a shame that they throw them out, but I'm glad I found it. Look, they even have little designs. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight pairs of brand new women's socks that I'm sure so many people would have greatly appreciated the donation of. So if this person was actually aiming to donate them, good for them, but they ended up in the dumpster anyway, so it didn't really matter in the long run. All right, moving on to the grocery store. I have just a few things from the grocery store. I have three of these gluten-free original french fried onions. These are sealed. Their date was September. So um, these are just fine. They're literally fried, processed nothingness. <laughs> um, I'm sure, as everybody knows, Thanksgiving is in like three weeks. Actually, it's in exactly three weeks. And these are a big deal usually um, around Thanksgiving. So that's a pretty good find. I have one thing of pumpkin spiced bagels. Those sound pretty tasty. I also had a thing, not a thing, a loaf of really grainy, delicious bread and a bunch of strawberries and blackberries as well. But I made some stuffed French toast yesterday and I did video that. So look out for an eating from the dumpster video sometime soon. <laughs> um, so those I don't have anymore, but they're in that video. I have one fabulous pineapple, which I will be eating for sure. And then these are adorable. These um, are dog toys. Look how fun. They pull on them, they squeak. They were candy, so I'm assuming they were Halloween branded. Actually, I know they were because the packaging was in there. They had just fallen out or been ripped out or whatever. So those are adorable. I'll be donating those with the blankets that you saw in my last video. Over here, this is just a little kitchen clock with some fake utensils on the back. It's, and the, <laughs> the hands are a fork and knife. Definitely not my style, but I think my sister would like that, so I'm going to give that to her. And then the last store was the dollar store, which I got this bag of returnable cans I'll get or bottles. I'll get 10 cents for each bottle. So this is probably about a dollar's worth of returnables. 
And then I also have two SpaghettiOs. One is original. Actually, I might have three. This one has meatballs. Two whole kernel sweet corns. And then one more SpaghettiO. Yeah, the cans are just a little dinged up. Um, so I'll be cautious with those, but they should be good to go. So that is my haul for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. These socks are definitely the, the biggest find of this haul and the candy. <laughs> um, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam, and I'll be back with more dumpster diving-related videos soon. Thank you.